Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Titus with Mid Valley Mercenaries and today I'm going to be going over our new Pro Drive 1848 with the 40 horse motor on it. Before we get started in the walkthrough, I just want to say thank you to KP for helping us out with the boat, getting everything lined up and picking out all the details that we wanted with the boat. Those guys at Pro Drive, I want to say they're very good at customer service and they'll definitely take care of you and very friendly staff too. So without further ado, let's get started. So first off is the Diamond City Trailers trailer. It's an aluminum trailer and I've noticed it's very light. On the spec sheet, it says it's uh, 500 pounds. So it's definitely a lot lighter. I like the lighting on it. It's got a couple lights here on each side that light up like an orange light. And then what's pretty slick is also this lights up at night too but the reason i like that is because at night like if early morning you're loading the boat it actually helps you see what's going on back here when you're backing up to the launch or whatever so also on the wheels in this it's just kind of a fancier setup You've got the nice rims on this just a really good looking trailer and then on the back it's got the quick buckles for the quick release that you can load and unload pretty quick we got the 120 watt led light on the front and this thing lights it up we also got the mount here and we don't have it on yet but we're just going to be putting a smaller Minn Kota 45 pound thrust trolling motor. We got the setups for that, but here's the plate, the mounting bracket. And then I like these. I know not everybody puts these on, but we put on the bow rails on ours. And the reason that myself and Thomas really like these is the fact that like if we throw decoys up here and we do Texas rigs like we do, you can run it through and then hook it back to itself and keeps them on. And we've traveled across the country with the decoys sitting right up here or in the boat just nice to have something to either hold on to or put your decoys on we went with a nat gear paint and pro drive actually puts a tan like tan splotches in it but we asked it for no tan in it just because we like this color and that's one of the things that i like about pro drive is you can really customize how you want it and they're very easy to work with and they'll do whatever you want so we went the nat gear we really like this powder in this color this is the timber deck version and we did hydro turf everything and i'll talk about that more in a second but on the timber deck, we have the hydro turf, and I love a timber deck. It just, it helps water from coming back in, spilling over the boat, like if you're in reverse or if you're stopping suddenly, but also it's a place for you to get in or your dog as well. Like, you know, if we're hunting out of a blind, Rocky can come in through the back on the timber deck. And they also sell a, a dog ramp, which I might be buying that later on. I don't have it yet, but myself and Thomas also went with the rooster lights. And we went with the green color and I'll show you some video clips that I got at night so you can see better the coloring and what it looks like. We were debating on getting this, but we ended up getting it because again, early in the morning or at night when you're launching or picking your boat up, you can see backing up so much better. And we went with the green color because it's just easier on your eyes at night. That's a known fact. White just, I feel like it's a little bit overbearing at night. And also you can see your rooster light. That's why they're called rooster lights. So you can see your rooster tail. And I like to see that too. So I can see where I basically have my trim if it's where I want it to be when it's at night. I don't have to shine a flashlight back there. This is the spud pole attachment that we had added on. And man, is this something worth its weight in gold. My goodness, I would not, I don't think I ever want to get a duck boat again without this because if you're hunting anything with current, you can lock yourself down. We got one here on the back left corner and the front right corner where you have the two poles, stick them in, locks you down. So whether you're picking up decoys in current, putting decoys out in current, or if you wanna hunt in a spot that it's deep and you can't, can't hunt out on the ground and standing water, you gotta hunt out of the boat, you can lock yourself in whether you're in trees or whatever. So it's, it's an amazing feature. Here's the boat buckles I was talking about on both sides. They're definitely worth having. You just release, pull it out, let it go and you're done. I mean, it's that quick. I'm gonna put it back on, hook it up, strap it, strap it down, and you're good to go. Now I'm gonna start it up real quick and just let you hear and purr for a second. And this motor has full power reverse, and we're excited about that because you get in the, I feel like it's kind of like four wheel drive for a duck boat. Because if you get yourself wedged in a situation, you need to get back out from where you came from you can do this. So let's get her started and let you guys hear her purr. All right, so thing's a beast. We've already put it to the test. Like I think we've taken out three times now. Love it. I mean, just 
easy to handle. That's the biggest thing about this motor, is when you're driving, you're sitting set up, I mean, just so smooth, takes hardly no effort to just crank it hard to left or right. We're really loving this boat right now. I wanted to show you though, so up here on the control panel, it's a twist grip throttle, throttle. and then you got this yellow button. This is where you throw it in gear, so that's actually a neutral, pushed in's neutral, pulled out is forward. It does not have instant reverse, but that's okay because we have reverse and I'll tell you about that in a second. What I do love about this feature that the ProDrive has, I think it's an incredible idea, is the basically their touch button, which is, so like say if I have it in neutral and we're picking up decoys, I can literally just tap this and it will spin the prop. As soon as I let it go, it stops. So from the neutral position, I can tap this button and it will kick the, the prop and we'll go forward and I'll let off. So you can just tap it, tap it, tap it. So even in neutral, when I'm in neutral, I can tap this and it will move forward. So it's a momentary button that helps you like picking up decors or you just wanna scoot forward a little bit, okay? You also got uh, your trim for the motor up and down right here under your, where your thumb is. That way when you're running and gunning through the trees or down the river, wherever you're at, you can make on the fly adjustments. Okay, back here is obviously our kill switch. That comes off, kill the motor, got your fuse. Also, this is gonna flip this around, so I'm gonna trim up, up so we don't hit the back. Now watch the, the whole prop, the, the lower end. I can spin this around. It takes about three seconds. So now the lower end is spun, spun all the way around and we have full power reverse. Then I would trim back on the trailer right now obviously so i can't go all the way down but you can keep going down with that and if you're in a bad situation that's how you do it it's really comforting having that feature on the boat that takes what 93 seconds now when you go in full power reverse you also want to flip this over and lock that down too so we've done it a few times it's like i said it works really great got your hobbs meter right here also for your rpm too or if your check engine light ever comes on and then with the handle you can adjust so see how there's a cant in this it's kind of off to the side you can loosen this bolt take it out slide it where it's down in the middle but i find when i'm driving it because you kind of sit at a 45 i kind of find having it out there a little bit is a lot more comfortable and works better because if it was over this way but it just depends on what you like there's that option also you can lift this up and back here you can adjust how high you want this handle to sit. If you want it to sit higher, might be going backwards, but yeah, there you go. You can just spin this right back here and you can have that sitting higher for whatever you want it down here or if you want it up here, like if you were standing, you can set it to where the handle's way up here while you're driving. We got our on off switch for our battery. Always, when we're not using it, we also keep it off, not to drain anything. And we got our bilge right here in the back and then our drain plug and everything's right there. Got our battery. We put a seat on this time and this is, they changed this recently, but it's a Millennium Marine. Very comfortable. Like I said, we kind of run it like sitting like that when we're sitting down like at a 45. Very comfortable, like just running this boat. Like I said, easy to use, super maneuverable and very comfortable. And we have this on a pod. I'll lift it a little bit, but you'll see. Got room in there to put stuff, paperwork, calls, shells, whatever we want to put in there. It's, everything will stay dry. On this side is the poles that I was talking to you about. They're super tough and strong. They're actually called a Super Stick. Is the brand that makes them. And easy to take on and off. And it's out of your way. Honestly, I never think like, man, these things are in the way or whatever. They just stay out of the way. Also, I'll show you like, if we were to do it, you just run it right through this and then you run it into the ground. And you can, you're gonna get yourself, what, four feet into the mud or the sand or whatever it is that you're locked down into. So this is very, uh, a feature that we really like on this boat. This is a 48 inch wide boat. And some people are probably gonna ask, why did you get a 54 inch box? Because the way Pro, Pro Drive makes things, you can unscrew inside and swivel it and screw it down and have a seat that runs across this way. So you can either have it this way, parallel with the boat or horizontal. The reason we did this is with the 48, if you have it in your gun case, your gun won't fit in there. We wanted something to have 
more guns in and you can literally stick probably five guns in there in their cases so we went with the 54 inch box and we never plan on moving this anyways but if we want to take this out for whatever reason there is two points right here of attachment that you could just quick release that you can unscrew to take this box out so it's such a clean design and if you notice here on the floor there's two other points as well so we can put this box in the middle if we want or on the other side we can put it on this side so i love their panel that they have got the 12 volt so you can charge with like the car charger you want to charge your phone or whatever we also got two usb ports might be kind of hard to see right now but you can actually see your voltage more so at night because that's when you'll be using all your lights but you can see like 12.6 so you always know how your battery life's doing got your nav lights got your bilge your spot turns on the front and then your interior lights, we went, I'll throw in again some clips of it at night. It looks sick. And I truly believe you could be driving with this at night with these lights on in here and your spotlight driving to your spot and it not affect your vision at all. That's why we went with that green. So you could leave these on if you wanted to. The accessory one on this is our rooster lights. And then we have accessory two open to do whatever we want with that. So then you got your grab bar and your cup holder for what? Mountain Dew. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So, like I said, we went with the Hydro Turf, and it's just a clean look. It's nice, though, like in summertime, if it's like 105, like it gets out here in California, it's really nice because you can still be barefooted and it, this doesn't get hot at all. But also in the wintertime, it's quiet if you drop something that doesn't make a lot of noise, or it's just you don't slip on it if it was just straight like wet metal or something. So, very nice. We got two six gallon tanks up in the front and a spot for a trolling motor battery. And we just haven't went and got it yet, but that's already set up and ready to go. The reason I do like the two tanks is say if I got six gallons in this and we want to do some scouting, we can run until that tank is bone dry. And as long as we say, okay, we're out, we can turn around and get, no, we can get all the way back. If you only have one tank, you're guessing. And I don't like guessing. <laughs> so. I like the fact that when we run out on one, we can take it, quick release it, stick it to the other one, and we're good to go again. On the front hatches, we got storage in here. This is for obviously a seat for fishing. These lock on uh, this one to where if you want to put something valuable in there, you can lock it. So that's kind of underneath that handle, but you just twist it. And there's actually a ton of storage in this one. So we got a few things in there right now. But anyways, there's plenty of room in there and it's sealed. Now that we got that all done and you guys seen everything about this boat, if you guys have any questions, ask it down in the comments below. If I miss something, I'm sure there's something I missed or a question that I missed, but it's time to get it out and see what this thing does on the water. So let's go take it out and check out the footage we got of this running this boat out on the water. Oh, <laughs> 